All right, let's do a quick sample of how to do a cross product, also known as a vector product. This means that our answer is going to have some kind of magnitude and it's going to have some kind of direction. And we'll see where all that comes from in just a minute. So I have two vectors, vector A, we're going to call vector A with a little arrow over it to make sure we know it's a vector. Two in the I hat plus three in the J hat plus four in the K hat. And then we're going to do vector B. Vector B is going to be 4 in the i hat, minus 3 in the j hat, minus 2 in the k hat direction. So these are our two vectors, and I want to know what is A cross B. And what I have to do to figure this out is I have to distribute every single number into every other number and combine every single vector as well. So I have to distribute. Distribute the numbers to get the magnitude and distribute the vectors to get the directions. Okay, so how does this actually work and what are we gonna do? Well, first we need to take this two in the i hat, multiply it by the four. So I have two times four, let's do two times four, and we have i hat cross i hat. But I need to distribute this into every single number to get every combination. So I need to do two times this negative three, and I need to do I cross J. So I have plus two times negative three, and then I hat cross J hat. And then I need to do the last one, two times negative two, I hat cross K hat. So plus a two times a negative two, and I need to do I hat cross K hat. Okay. Then I need to do this with the other vectors, so the other elements of this vector A. I need to do 3 times 4, j hat cross i hat. So that's, let's do that on a new line. We'll do plus 3 times 4, and that's a j hat cross an i hat. And notice, I need to make sure to follow the direction. Right? I need to make sure that vector A comes before vector B because I'm figuring out A cross B. That order is important. So keep distributing. We have 3 times 3, uh, that negative 3, and we have J hat cross J hat. So plus uh, 3 times this negative 3 comes along, and we have J hat cross J hat. And then we need to do the last one. three times a negative 2, and j hat cross k hat. So 3 times negative 2, j hat cross k hat. I'm just distributing. I am putting in every single possible combination of these numbers and letters I can. 4 times 4. So we'll add the 4 times 4 times uh, we need k hat cross i hat. k hat cross i hat. Keep the order of those vectors. Okay, plus, we need to do 4 times negative 3, k hat cross j hat. 4 times negative 3, and k hat cross j hat. All right, and then last but not least, we have 4 times the negative 2, and k hat cross k hat. 4 times negative 2, and k hat cross k hat. Okay, so I got a bunch of numbers here. I've got nine different numbers. I need to actually start multiplying these together and get out some vectors. First thing I can notice, and this is a general rule for cross products, if cross products are parallel or anti-parallel, then they're zero. So this I cross I, that goes away. That goes to zero because this unit vector, these are parallel. Parallel cross products are zero. J cross J, that's going to go to zero because of this J cross J. K cross K, parallel to each other, that goes to zero. I don't need to worry about any of these parts. So I just got rid of three different calculations that I need to do. Well, again, remember what I'm doing here is something called brute force approach. I am writing down every possible thing. There are other ways that you can do this. You can do this kind of cross product with matrix multiplication, with determinants, and you are welcome to do that. I am just showing you the, the, the way that you can get points no matter what. Okay. So now let's multiply some of these numbers together. So we have 2 times negative 3. That's going to be negative 6. 
and I have an I cross J. So I'm going to write down that cross product that I still need to do. Plus 2 times negative 2, that gives me a negative 4. And we've got I hat cross K hat. Plus 3 times 4, that's going to be 12 times J hat cross I hat. Plus 3 times negative 2, negative 6, J hat cross K hat. So you'll notice these problems are a little tedious sometimes, uh, but writing these things out now and doing this now early in the semester will make your lives much easier later on. I promise. All right, so we got 4 times 4, that's 16. And K cross I. And then 4 times negative 3, so that's plus a negative 12. And we have K cross J. All right, so what do I do now? Now I have to actually take some of these cross products. One thing we can notice right away, uh, when I'm taking a cross product, it's usually, okay, I cross J gives me K. Yeah. Uh, I have the first two letters, and I always get out the third letter. Okay. It depends on the order that I'm going. So if I go opposite direction and in a kind of a weird order, then I get a negative. Uh, or I get a positive. So I can just blindly, without even knowing how to do the cross product, I can start writing it down some things. I can get the uh, direction of the vector, uh, just not whether it's positive or negative without even thinking. So this negative six just keeps coming. I cross J. I know I have the vector I, I have the vector J, so I have to get the third vector out of this. I have to get the vector K. The question is, is that going to be positive or negative? And we'll show you how to figure that out in a moment. So I'm just blindly writing these things down. No real thought going into this. Plus a negative four, I cross K, the third vector I'm missing is J. We'll figure out if that's positive or negative. Plus 12, J cross I, vector I'm missing is K. So it's gotta be positive or negative K hat. Plus a negative six, J cross K, that's gotta give me I hat. Plus 16, K cross I, the vector, the letter that I'm missing is J and then plus a negative 12 K cross J, that's gotta give me either positive or negative I. Okay, so there's all the vectors that I have. Now I need to figure out if they're positive or negative. And that's where this triangle or this little circle drawing comes into play. I, J, K, wrapping back around to I. If I'm going in the normal way of the alphabet, if I'm trying to go between two vectors and I'm following it clockwise, I'm going to get positive. If I have to go opposite, if I have to go counterclockwise, I to K or K to J or J to I, I'm going to get a negative. So if I'm going the normal way that the alphabet goes, I get a positive. Opposite, I get a negative. So let's see what this looks like. I have I cross J. So I start at I and I want to go to J. To go I to J, I follow this circle clockwise. So because I'm following that clockwise, that's got to be a positive K. I can look at the next one. I have I cross K. So if I want to go from I to K, the only way I can go from I to K is to follow this, net, follow this kind of purple line. I have to go counterclockwise. Because I'm going counterclockwise, that's going to be a negative. J cross I. I've got my J to get to my I. I've got to go around this inner circle. I have to go counterclockwise, so that's got to be a negative. J cross K, I have start at J. I want to go to K. I'm following that circle clockwise, so that's got to be positive. K cross I, if I want to go K, and I want to go to I next, I follow along this outer circle, that's going to be a positive. And then K cross J, if I want to go K and I want to get to J, I'm following, okay, I'm following this inner circle, K to go to J. I'm going counterclockwise, so that's got to be negative. Okay, so that is my vector cross product. Now I can do A cross B and I can combine like terms. Uh, it's good practice to follow to put all the I's first. So let's find all these I's. The I's, I have 
negative 6 in the i hat, and I have plus negative 12 in the negative i hat. So I multiply those together to get uh, negative 6 i hat uh, plus 12, negative 12 times negative 1. So that's going to give me 12 i hat. And then I want to do the same thing with the j hats. So let's find all the j's. I have a negative 4 times a negative j. That's going to give me a positive 4j. And then I also have a 16j hat. So that's got to be plus a 16j hat. And then last but not least, I find all my k's. I've got a negative 6 in the k hat. So that's plus a negative 6k hat. And a plus 12 times negative 1k hat. So that's going to be a plus a negative 12k hat. And I should combine all those vectors together. So I get negative 6 plus 12 in the i hat. And remember, I only add i hats to other i hats. So that's going to give me 6 i hat. I have 4j hat plus 16j hat. So that's got to give me plus 20j hat. And then negative 6k hat plus negative 12k hat. That's got to give me a negative 18k hat. And this is my final cross product answer. So that's how we take a cross product, a uh, short example problem.